that brings into this beta. So the first thing you can notice here is that now all of the four applications that we use as utilities, Apple made that as a utilities folder. So that folder is already made. I, I didn't make this folder. And it includes the clock, calculator, compass, and voice memos apps. So maybe with the new iPhone coming out next, next month, it might have some cool icons here to make room for the next uh, iPhone features. So um, on this next page, nothing really fascinating. Let's go to settings. Um, if you go to wallpaper, um, there are new wallpapers now available for you to play with. They're available right here on the top, and they're actually really nice wallpapers. There's some more here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and tap on one. And let's go ahead and see this one as well. And uh, I believe it replaced most of the other wallpapers the previous beta had that also were available in iPhone OS 3.0. This one has denim jeans. They might be from Steve Jobs, so I don't know. But we'll see. And then there's also this nice one. And of course this one. There's so many wallpapers that you can now use that weren't available before. I'll go ahead and set this one as both. And there you go. So now I have a nice little cooler um, uh, wallpaper for OS 4. Still no video wallpaper, still no other things people have asked for yet, but this is pretty much a feature complete version of the beta that's already been available. Let's go down here. We, we still have that multitasking griller. Um, here's that iPod icon. If you can recall from the beta. 3 icon. It was a bit off. Apple went ahead and fixed that. We still have the same controls as before. So, there's really nothing else new to report in this beta as of yet. All that we've seen is new wallpaper support and of course the utilities have been put in a, in a folder so that people can see firsthand when the beta is released how this whole folder thing tends to work. So it's a good idea that Apple went ahead and proposed. Um, that's pretty much it for this beta. I mean, I really can't report much about it. Maybe if I tamper with it more, I'll probably add more to the description. But that's pretty much it that what's new in iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 4. Not a lot of changes. There's new wallpapers. Probably some um, performance and reliability updates. Now that iPhone OS 4 is feature complete, we are expecting that future betas Apple is going to work on making sure the beta is stable, reliable, and it doesn't crash on any of their devices before releasing it next month with a new, along with a new iPhone. So I can't wait to see this out for everyone to use in the general public. But if you'd like to use iPhone OS 4.0 before anyone else, you can go ahead and do so by signing up for uh, an activation slot at iPhoneBetaActivation.com. We only charge a flat fee of $10 one time, and you do have access to all future betas beta 4 and up. And you also have access to the previous betas if you want to tap over those as well. But you will have access to 4.0 beta before everyone gets to do so a month from now. We've been doing this service since early April and we've activated over 2,000 devices successfully. So if you want to be the next iPhone or iPod Touch around the block with the latest iPhone OS 4.0 firmware, go ahead and register your device's UDID at iPhoneBetaActivation.com. We have a lot of um, instructions and illustrations and guides on how to get your UDID and how to make your iPhone OS 4 installation experience a breeze. So go ahead and visit our website and I'll go ahead and see you guys again in the next beta. Laters.